Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wrestling Marks of Excellence here on Fox Sports Radio 1340 and 96.9 FM. I'm your host, Glenn Thomas. Also with me, as always, the wizard himself, a nephew, Corey. Tonight, we're going to talk about the upcoming WWE Monday Night Raw pay-per-view, Great Balls of Fire. I know some of you don't like the name, but you may not like the name, but you have to respect the card of this pay-per-view. What's going on, wizard? What's going on, Kilo? How are you, man? Doing well, man. Can't complain. Can't complain. Looking forward to this Sunday night. A uh, great ball of fire pay per view. Some of some of great matches. Some great matches on the card. Some great storylines. A good build up. I know a lot of fans don't like the name of the pay per view, as I mentioned earlier, but they got to respect the card because the card is good. I think we may uh, may see a title change or two uh, on this card, uh, but it's great, man. It's a great show, and um, we can get this thing started with the pre show. Uh, we got the pre show coming up. The first match. On the pre-show, we got Akira Tazawa with Titus O'Neil, part of the Titus brand, taking on Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship. Looking on paper, you think, okay, Neville's going to run away with this one. Uh, no way in the world Akira, Akira Tazawa uh, will get the win. I beg to differ. It's about time for the Titus brand to get a win. It's about time for the Titus brand to get to come up. I'm not sure if this is the week that it happens. I don't know if it happens at this pay-per-view. But I will say it would be a good match. I, I'm leaning towards Tazawa here, Tazawa here, but I'm going to go with Neville. I think Neville actually gets the win here. Uh, Tazawa puts on a great match, uh, but somehow Titus costs us in the match. Uh, here's the thing. it's not. I, I don't think it was ever a thing where on paper it looks like Neville was going to run away with it. This is a very close match. And actually, had Tazawa not been with Titus, I would have said Tazawa has a better shot. Because of the tightest factor and it drawing out an actual storyline, I got Neville winning it. I don't – Austin Aries was the only credible threat that I saw to Neville uh, as, of the, as, as of the whole time that Neville's been uh, champion. Now now that, you know, Aries is on the shelf for a little bit, yeah, I, I don't see any other – I don't see any other uh, threat. It's gonna, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be Neville by not a long shot, but it's, it's Neville. It's definitely Neville. Uh, yeah, the thing is Neville. I think this cruiserweight cha- division is Neville's until Austin Aries come back or they bring somebody else up. Uh, neither to say. Uh, next match on the card, uh, it, it, it's, it's the Iron Man match. You have Cesaro and Sheamus taking on Jeff and Matt Hardy for the Raw Tag Team Championship. We saw them in a cage match. Now the 30 minute Iron Man match. Uh, the most pinfalls wins the Raw Tag Team Championship. The Hardy Boys have been back. They've been in a ladder match. They've been in a cage match. Now they're in an Iron Man match. I think I give this one in the edge of this match to the Hardy Boys, Jeff and Matt Hardy, uh, with the win over Cesaro and Sheamus. Not because I don't like the Cesaro and Sheamus team, but I think the Hardy Boys get the run again, uh, maybe taking on the Revival as that try to shape up better better booking if the Hardy Boys are champions than Cesaro and Sheamus. You know what? I honestly agree with that 100%. I think they let the Hardys run with it a while. I mean, they're, they're not that Sheamus and Cesaro are bad. There's just better booking scenarios with the Hardys as champions, like you just said. So I'm going with the Hardys, too. Going with the Hardys, and we agree on that one. Uh, now we come to the Miz. You got the Miz with Maurice, Bo Dallas, and Curtis Axel, the entourage, uh, taking on Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Champion Championship. We know the Miz is always great with his Intercontinental title. Uh, Dean Ambrose had it as well. This one has been a hard one for me to pick. I love the Miz as champion. Love where the Miz and the entourage is going. Question I ask myself, do they need a title to continue to progress as the entourage? Uh, my answer to that question is yes. Keep the, keep the Intercontinental Championship on the Miz with the entourage. Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel is relevant again. Uh, I like this I like this quad, if you want to call it. It's not a trio. This quad, we throw Maurice in, Maurice in there, this entourage. So I think Miz right. gets to win here. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to agree. But I presented a different question with that. I thought it was going to all be dependent upon if they're really going to move Miz into the main title picture eventually. And I, I unfortunately, I see it happening, but not anytime soon. I think he does remain intercontinental champion to help elevate the belt as he has done. 
and to really put it on an up-and-comer eventually when they when he does drop it. I don't think Dan Ambrose gets it back. No, I think I think you talk about the title picture. I think the title picture right now is clouded. You have five guys who who could be champions uh, in that title picture. You have Samoa Joe, who's going to be fighting. We can talk about that a little bit later. Who's fighting Brock Lesnar? You got Roman who's in the picture. I need to say some people may not like it, but you got Braun Strowman actually in that picture, along with Seth Rollins and Finn Balor, all for the Universal Championship. So to, to include the Miz uh, into that picture is just clouding things a little bit further. I think he continues to run as the Intercontinental Champion. I agree with that. Uh, then we go on to the grudge match of the night. You know, I, I, we, a lot of matches have stipulations. A couple of matches have stipulations. I'm going to call this the grudge match of the night. Uh, Enzo Amore, who cut the promo of his life on this past Monday night. A uh, great promo by Enzo Amore to open up Monday Night Raw. Taking on his former tag team pad partner, Big Cass. And we're looking for a David versus Goliath situation here uh, where Big Cass represents the Goliath. Enzo is a David I don't think it's going to turn out like it did in the biblical book as I learned at Sunday school. I think Big Cass gets the win here over Enzo Mori. Maybe even put him out for a while. Uh, we may not see Enzo for a while on TV. I think Big Cass gets the dominant win over Enzo. I, I agree. I definitely think uh, Big Cass is winning this. Uh, it, 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 it's just where the the smart booking is to, is to put it on, put put that win over with uh, Cass. Um, and like you just said, if they're really going to do something with Enzo, they may have to move into the cruiserweight division, and this would help by putting Enzo out and just having him reemerge on the on 205 Live. Yeah, this, this would be the big way. Only thing, only other twist I can see with this is somehow the big show gets involved. I hopefully, hopefully he does not get involved in this match. Let it be a one-on-one grudge match because you look at Big Cass has to go somewhere after Enzo. And the other place to go is been has to be the big show. Right. Absolutely. Oh, hopefully he doesn't get involved there. Next match, Seth Rollins taking on Bray Wyatt. Not for anything, no stipulations on this match. It's just a one on one match. Uh Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt. Uh since the latter match from uh, since the latter match from the last pay per view, they had a little tiff, a little beef. Bray Wyatt calling out Seth Rollins. We have a match here, Seth Rollins uh taking on Bray Wyatt. This one is I, I want to give it the edge to Seth Rollins, but somewhere deep down into me, I say Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt has to get a big win some way, some shape, some shape, somehow. Hasn't done it in a while. Hasn't had a big win. And if he does win, it won't hurt Seth Rollins any uh in the case, in my opinion. I, I want to say Bray Wyatt here. I think Bray Wyatt gets the win here over Seth Rollins. Uh just because Bray needs a big win. Yeah, I agree. I, I think it does go absolutely to Bray Wyatt. I, I don't see any reason Seth needs to win it, honestly. Well, wow, man, I'm getting more. I'm thinking more and more like you each and every day, Wizard. it? See, I agree. I, 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 <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> I know. You're, you're rubbing off on me here. The women's championship match. <laughs> the WWE Raw Women's Championship match here. Alexa Bliss taking on Sasha Banks, which I was surprised. You go back a couple Monday nights ago with the Gauntlet match. I was surprised Sasha Banks won this match. I really thought that it was going to be um, my girl. My goodness, forgot her name for a minute. Um, so <laughs> I thought it really was going to be Nia Jax who was going to win this match. But Nia Jax was going to win uh, and become the number one contender, taking on Alexa, Alexa Bliss here at the Great Balls of Fire pay per view. But we saw Nia uh, win. I don't like how they had Nia Jax tap out, but nonetheless, I'm not a booker. But you had, we have the match that we had before us. Alexa Bliss taking on the number one contender, Sasha Banks. I see this a title change here. This is where I think we may disagree. Title change here. Sasha Banks gets the win over Alexa Bliss to become the WWE World Women's Champion once again. You know what? I thought about it earlier, and I was thinking uh, Alexa got this. The payoff is Nia beating Alexa. But I think you're right. Alexa, sorry. Uh I think you're right, though. Uh, I think Alexa probably actually loses this. I think we get Sasha Banks going into SummerSlam, defending against Nia Jax. Mm. Man, I really thought we would disagree on that one, but hey, I know you, Alexa. I know you're an Alexa Bliss fan. <laughs> you like a Bliss, Alexa yeah, Bliss. No, no, no. Oh, that, that's what I said. Did I say Alexa Bliss? No, I was saying Sasha Banks goes into SummerSlam to defend against Nia Jax. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely that. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I love Alexa, but 
And I do think you're right. I think the smart money is that I thought the payoff would be Alexa and Nia, but I'm thinking that the payoff would be uh, Sasha and Nia, actually. I think it's only with all the publicity Sasha just got from being at the BET Awards, too. You know, and I, people may not yeah. like it, may not think it reads into it, but it does. It brings a lot of different eyes to the product when she is at a major award show. Um, so it brings a lot of different eyes. Then we take go on to the ambulance match. Roman Reigns taking on Braun Strowman in the ambulance match. Somebody has to leave in the ambulance. The doors have to be the doors have to be shut. The ambulance has to go out the arena in order for the winner uh, to be claimed. In, the, in order for the winner to be claimed. Men have been coming off again. Men, we know Braun Strowman is back, bigger and stronger. Roman Reigns declared himself to be the number one contender already. That he wants the winner of Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe. And this is a grudge match here. We got Braun taking on Roman Reigns. I have, this one right here is the one I've been flipping back and forth in my head. I can see by both men could get the W. By both men could get the win here. I'm going with Roman Reigns over Braun Strowman, and I. This is my reason why. Win over Roman Reigns over Braun Strowman for the reason why. I don't think Braun's elbow is totally healed up. I, I know what WWE says. I know he's back. I think this is a good way to let him go fulfill and heal it, like the six-month time frame they gave him, um, and let him put on a match with Roman. And Roman uh, hurt Braun's elbow a little bit more, and Braun goes out, uh, and the rest is healed up the real elbow for a little bit more, and Roman Reigns go on to SummerSlam to face either Samoa Joe or Brock Lesnar. Uh, this is where we disagree. I think Braun Strowman wins this one, man. I, I think they give him full momentum going into SummerSlam, and I think he's the one that challenges the winner of Samoa Joe and Brock Lesnar, which I'll make a prediction for. And I, I can see it either way. Either way, I wouldn't be mad because if you get, if you get Braun Strowman versus Samoa Joe, I think people want to see that as well. If you get Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar, that is kind of a main event. Um, the question is, is Braun Strowman ready to be on that bigger stage with Brock Lesnar? I mean, SummerSlam is your second biggest pay-per-view of the year uh, behind WrestleMania. And the question is, is Braun Strowman ready? Well, I guess we'll find out on this Sunday night. But that take, leads us into the main event of the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view. The pay-per-view, everybody didn't like the name. The pay-per-view, people thought was going to suck. The pay-per-view, people like, oh, this is bad. But now everyone in the world is talking about it. That's Paul, that's Brock Lesnar. With Paul Heyman in this corner taking on Samoa Joe for the WWE Universal Championship, the build to this has been great. We have seen Brock Lesnar on TV almost every week, back with the WWE Champion, the Universal Championship back on TV. We saw Samoa Joe uh, with the Kakona Clutch. We've seen a lot of things, a spear. We've seen a lot of things with this build up. Paul Heyman on the mic is gold as usual. And now we're almost down to it, away, uh, down to the match getting ready to take place uh, this Sunday night. Juan. Roman, I mean, Brock Lesnar taking on Samoa Joe. I got, I got Samoa Joe winning it. I have Samoa Joe wow. winning over Brock Lesnar. Samoa Joe winning over Brock Lesnar. People may not like it. You may disagree with me, but I got Joe winning. I think Brock gets it back prior to WrestleMania, but I think Samoa Joe gets the win here. Ooh, you don't take Brock Lesnar into a high-profile match in the SummerSlam? Wow. You, well, you do give him a high profile match. I think Brock Lesnar wins it. You do give him a high pro match, pro profile match going to SummerSlam, but you give him the rematch and going into SummerSlam with a stipulation or something on the match, whether it's a submission match or something of that nature. Okay. I do. But do you do a I one do. month? Do a one month with Samoa Joe and and bring it back? You know what? You may be right. You may actually be right because that's a lot of dates for Brock Lesnar to, to work. But he did it before. He did it before. I'm still going to keep Brock Lesnar, but you may be right. Brock Lesnar is my prediction. I think we get Brock hey. Lesnar and Braun Strowman at Thomas. Hey. Here's what it is. Hey, late. Here's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Katina, listen to us on Fox Sports Radio 1340 and 96.9 FM. Hey, you see me? You heard my picks. You heard the Wizards pick. Like it, don't like it, leave a comment, subscribe, don't subscribe. But let us know what you what your thoughts are and what your picks are for this weekend's Great Ball of Fire. That's what our prediction show for the Great Ball of Fire. Catch us next week. Same time, same bad channel. With it, take us out of here. Hey, if you're not confirmed, consider yourself denied. End of story, end of story. Enjoy Great Balls of Fire. Mm-hmm.